and welcome to Feathercast. My name is Rich Bowen. Today I'm speaking with Swapnil Mane, who is one of the committers on the OFBiz project and also a recently elected member of the Apache Software Foundation. So congratulations and welcome. Thank you, thank you. The very first Feathercast that I did about OFBiz was back in 2006. I mentioned that to say that this project has been around for a while. Um, I believe that it graduated from the incubator in 2006. I think that is when right, we did that right. first interview. So as I've spoken with various people about the project, I've noticed um, that the name of the project gets pronounced a number of different ways. Is there is there one correct canonical way to pronounce the project? Yes, there is. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice question. <laughs> so we, we, <laughs> we pronounce it as OFBiz. All right. It's uh, it's uh, yeah. When uh, David and Andrew Zaneski give the name, so it is open for business. It's O F this, so we pronounce it like this. <laughs> so I'm looking at the uh, at the website here, and it says that O F Biz is a suite of business applications, flexible enough to be used across any industry. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you could expand on that. Tell us. Uh, what this software actually does, who might use it? Okay, sure. So Apache Web is an uh, open source product for automation of enterprise processes that includes the uh, framework and uh, business application for uh, ERP, enterprise resource planning, CRM, customer relationship management, e-commerce, supply chain management, uh, manufacturing resources planning, and enterprise assist management. So you can say uh, Apache Obase provide a foundation and, uh, and a starting point for reliable, secure, and uh, scalable enterprise solutions. So you can say it's a suite of business application, flexible enough to use across an industry. So you can say we have, uh, uh, it's, it's have a common architecture, which also allows the developer to extend and uh, enhance uh, and create a custom features. So in a nutshell, it's a powerful Java web framework and having a matured CRM ERP solution and, and it's developer friendly. Uh, along with this, uh, uh, you can say we have some out of the, mo out of the box modules uh, like accounting, CRM, order management system, e-commerce, warehouse and inventory management system, manufacturing in ERP. And we have some out of the box features like uh, product and catalog management, okay. promotion and uh, pricing management, supply chain fulfillment, and uh, and uh, payment and billing, and, and, and then that all sort of things. So you can say it's a comprehensive suite of business applications that help managing everything from accounting to order management to CRM to where a warehouse and inventory control. So that that's that's an obvious in nutshell. Um, one of the things that I remember from from previous, I've actually done two other interviews about of biz over the years, and one of the things that I remember from early on was that it was described as a set of tools for building your own solutions, and right. it sounds like it sounds like the application has matured significantly since those early days, right. which which leads me to my next question. Um, when a project like this one is is mature and functional and polished, it mm -hmm. can be a challenge to get people to come contribute to it because what would they work on? So this is my question for you. What, what can new contributors to your project expect? What can they work on? Right, so it's a nice question. Uh, so uh, with the uh, time, there are various new and latest technology will the web is, uh, uh, in the web, we have new technology like GraphQL. And uh, so recently, uh, we have the work going on the implementation of GraphQL. And apart from that, uh, we have uh, various refactoring works going on, right? We have some very old code that we are refactoring, like uh, some code is in XML, and we are writing it, rewriting it in Groovy. And uh, one special thing about OIP business, it's having various business modules like CRM, uh, warehouse management. So based on the expertise of, of users and contributors, they can suggest or provide inputs in the existing workflow that can be improved. So 
there is, this is some wide range of uh, uh, opportunities available in the framework for, for the improvement that people can suggest. Apart from this, it's also in framework, means you can create your own, uh, we have separate, okay. yeah. So what we have done recently is we have separated out, out the framework and the, uh, and the business application, which we call as a plugin. So you can use independently framework for building your own enterprise application. Like to give an example, the Atlassian Jira is using the entity engine of Apache WebBiz, right? And uh, so that's the one thing. And uh, similarly, uh, there are other uh, business applications to uh, see it also. So it's a framework at the same time, it's an and business uh, automation tool. So it's, it's up to the user how they would like to use it. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to connect with your community, where do you where do you chat? Is it on the mailing list or is there a, a live chat channel? As, as other uh, Apache projects, we are having a very vibrant community active over the mailing list. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we are also, if, if somebody would like to ch chit chat with us, we are also available on the Slack channel uh, in the ASF space. So uh, we are also there. And apart from this, we are we are having the presence in various social media like uh, Twitter and Facebook. And uh, we do have our, uh, our own YouTube uh, channel uh, of OEBIS, which have some good tutorials around the OEBIS and uh, OEBIS tutorials. So yeah. All right. And I will link to all of that in the uh, description of this uh, in, the, in the blog post. Can you tell me about some of the activities and maybe uh, events that you all organize as a community? Yeah, we we have uh, Apache Airbus Community Day. We have uh, uh, it in uh, uh, in four times a year. So uh, basically, Apache Community Day is is a day where uh, every Apache Airbus community member is invited to work solely on the Airbus bugs, improvements, new feature testing, essentially the community is working together to achieve uh, something that will benefit the OFBiz. So uh, we have our next community day in month of May and it will start it from 22nd of, uh, 22nd of May to uh, 26th of May. So this is our, our next community day we have planned. How, how does that work? This is like a, an, an online event where people collaborate in, in real time or? So what we do is, uh, 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 we uh, we create an sprint in the Jira where we put some tickets and people can can uh, uh, get uh, pick up any ticket what they would like to work on or if they want to work on something which is not listed there they can create their own ticket. So what we do is uh, we have uh, uh, recently we 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 sometimes also have theme for the community day. For example, last time we focused on. Uh, uh, translating all the XML related code to the Groovy code. Uh, again, the uh, we uh, anybody can anybody can do what 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 is their interest is. But uh, yeah, uh, so we generally manage it to Jira and and over the mailing list. So we share the details with the community. Hey, we are we are having the next community day on 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 this date. And uh, uh, at the starting of the year, we create a calendar for the community day. Which is which we publish. So uh, yeah. So this time it's uh, the next community day is on uh, in May. So this is how we try to collaborate, and we have our Slack channel and mailing list where where most of the communications happen or in the community day. And how is it decided um, what you're going to work on? Uh, that that's a good question, right? So again, we choose mailing list for this. Uh, somebody uh, can uh, can suggest, hey team, let's let's. Uh, let's work on this uh, in this community day. And if if uh, if majority of contributors are uh, are would like to participate in this, uh, we set this as a theme. And again, uh, theme is just for for a guideline. Uh, anybody can sure. do what they want, right? So uh, so this is how we we decided on our, our mailing list. One thing that I remember about your community is that there are a number of for profit vendors that that uh, have project product offerings based off of biz is that is that still fairly much the case yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's absolutely true how do these companies collaborate with one another without one of them you know kind of directing the shots uh, how, do, how does your community operate around these companies right. so. great 
So uh, you can see, Rich, we have a, a wide variation of people from different companies. We don't have any uh, like this that, OK, uh, it's, it's a very community-driven project. Uh, we do have the various comp company across the globe uh, involved in OEBIS. So, uh, so it's it's very it's, it's uh, there is no scope so that one one can dominate because mm -hmm. everybody is contributing and the community is so welcoming that uh, uh, we are really uh, uh, fortunate to have the great peoples we who they they don't they don't dominate they actually collaborate together and try to make uh, best out of this product so we all are committed uh, for the betterment of Apache Oibis and it's it's uh, it's you can say in the culture of our community so. It, it's itself uh, this uh, uh, or this culture uh, gives this uh, faci facility to us to grow it in, in positive direction. This is how, how it's happened. About how many people are involved in the OFBiz project? Right. So we have a very vibrant community. So we have around uh, 49 committers and uh, 21 PMC members. and. Uh, uh, this this, uh, this people are, are really uh, welcoming, and they uh, our community is really welcoming to the new people. So uh, this number is is it's really great number, and people are really active in the OBS project. I'm I'm looking at actually your projects.apache.org webpage right now, and. Mm -hmm. One of the things that often strikes me about Apache projects is when you look at the names of the people that are involved, mm -hmm. you can sense a a uh, geographic location, mm -hmm. right? You'll you'll see right, a lot right. of German names, or you'll see right, a lot right. of Chinese or Indian names. Right, what right. I, what really strikes me about your project is that the names are just they're from all over the world, and, right. and to me that really reinforces what you were saying about this being a welcoming community. I see. Italian names and and uh, and uh, uh, Indian yeah. names and Chinese names and I, I know some of these people and so I know where they're from so it's it really impresses me to to see that right. in a project how how global your project is yeah we we have people from France Germany Italy United States India yeah it's really great thing to have this group uh, great minds across the globe are uh, collaborating to in in Urbis. yeah. If I want to learn more about your project, where do mm -hmm. I go for that? Yeah, sure. Uh, you can visit our uh, website oibiz.apache.org. Uh, At the same time, we have our uh, our Confluence presence uh, in the uh, in the ASF Confluence. Uh, you can you can search for Oibiz Confluence. So it's have tons of uh, document there. And as I mentioned, we are uh, have our social presence on Twitter and Facebook uh, along with the YouTube channel. So uh, you, can, you can access us here. Excellent. Thank you very much, Swapnil, for your time and for all of this great information. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rich. Bye.